So now we come to module two, which I call the boring bits. So the goal here is to make sure that you are up and running with an OpenMP compiler. Now fortunately, OpenMP is just about everywhere. You, you have to work hard not to have an OpenMP compiler on your system, but it's possible. So first off, if you have an Intel compiler running on Windows, what you need to do is to go through and launch the software development environment. And I went through and have a little screen dump here of where I go through and I, I bring up the start menu, I go into the Intel compiler uh, program option, I bring up the command prompt and then I click the 32-bit uh, command prompt. And then that brings up a command prompt window and then to run the compiler I just go ICL backslash Q open MP then the, the, the file name foo.c. And then if I want to change the number of threads, and believe me, we're going to talk about this in more detail later, but I kind of like to get all this stuff in one place. I would go set OMP underscore num underscore threads equals the number I'm asking for. And then I would run the program, you know, in this case, say foo.exe, and it's going to try and use that number of threads. So that's how I get the compiler up and running if I'm using the Intel compiler on Windows. And of course, since I'm from Intel, I hope you're all using an Intel compiler. Now, if you're using Visual Studio from Microsoft, they actually support OpenMP. They support older versions of OpenMP, but we're only going to be dealing with the, open, uh, with the older versions, so you'll be okay. So here it's a little bit trickier. Um, go ahead and start up a new project. I assume if you have Visual Studio, you know how to do that. And usually for these exercises, I like to keep things simple. So I select a console project, and then I go through and I'm going to set the name. You've been through the start menu with the, with the uh, console projects before. You have to set the name and the path, and you set that sort of thing up. Once you get things working, you need to tell it to activate OpenMP. By default, OpenMP is turned off because Microsoft wants you to use their proprietary uh, multi-threading schemes. So we want to turn on OpenMP. And just to get it really exact here, you're going to go into the Project Properties, you're going to bring up the Configuration tab, and then you're going to bring up the Languages tab, and you're going to go through and you're going to activate OpenMP on that tab. So when you go through and do that, now you activate OpenMP so it'll understand the OpenMP constructs. Set the number of threads inside the program. I always found it kind of a pain in the Windows environment to set environment variables. So we'll show you how to do that in the program to ask for the number of threads you want. Then you build the project uh, the standard way in Visual Studio. And then I go into the debug menu and I start up with, uh, you know, debug with, uh, run without debug to run my codes. So that's how I would do it inside Visual Studio. Now, if you're using Linux or OS X, where OS X would be from uh, our good buddies at Apple, you're going to be using the GNU compilers, GCC. And there, it's very simple. Um, if you have Xcode on Apple or if you have a standard Linux build with the software development environment on there, you already have OpenMP. You don't have to do anything special. You just have to tell the compiler to use it. So I would go GCC-F OpenMP, then the file name. Now, um, and then, of course, it depends on the shell you're running, but if you're running the bash shell, then you would just go export OMP underscore num underscore threads equals the number of threads you want. And then, of course, this is going to build the executable called a dot out, and so I'd have to go dot slash a dot out to run the program. And so that's all there is to running the, uh, the OpenMP compilers. So here's your very first exercise. And the purpose of this exercise is, do you know how to use a compiler? Do you know how to use a text editor? I know this sounds brain dead simple, but you'd be surprised how many people have trouble even at this level. So just to get this out of the way and over with once and for all, I want you to use the editor of your choice to create a hello world program. Int main, set an integer called id to zero, and then just print hello, then print world, okay? Type that in, and then make sure you can compile and run that. Then what I want you to do is I want you to add the following constructs, all right? You're just gonna put at the top pound include omp.h, and then you're gonna put in front of that int id line, you're gonna put pound pragma omp parallel and you'll put all that stuff within curly brackets. Okay, we're defining a C block. You do that and then run it and then we'll talk.